just because it's insane like the impact that black women have had on me personally on my self-love journey and i'm so grateful lovelies and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is belinda strada thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel turn on notifications so that anytime i upload a video you will be the first person to be notified and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all the love and support to those people that share my videos leave commentaries you guys are the real mvp thank you so much for all the love and support all right lovelies let's get in in today's video so lovelies i came across this video on my for you page on tiktok and i just started to share with you guys where these you know indian americans are just you know showing homage to black people and how black community have actually changed their lives and their perspectives about histories and all of that guys i'm just gonna roll the cleave as well as the speeches i was able to put together please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and let's you know dive into it you know before i go to sleep tonight i just want to say one thing Throughout my journey, and I'm on about my journey from a very young age, there has been one community that has helped me, that has educated me and made me grow into the man I am today. And that is the black community. And I'm sorry for being so vague in saying the black community. Um, and the reason why is because it's so diverse and I can't pinpoint specific groups. So I'm from Reading. Now, Reading, the first group of immigrants to ever come to Reading was, uh, were Caribbeans. And one thing that the Caribbeans did from a very young age was they created, along with uh, um, other African members, they created the Pan-African Society, which was after-school curriculums built for black students because they were getting neglected by the education system. Now, for some reason, I was enrolled into this. Uh, and my belief is that they thought I was mixed race. So I was allowed into these classes. There I learned a lot. I was uh, bumped up in the English language, but also they taught me a lot about history about Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., about Black Panthers, about Asata Shakur, all these amazing things. And that helped me, and that helped me grow, and that helped me learn. And so as I grew up and I grew older, I, I learned a lot more about the black community. And I learned more about that than my own community. But one thing I noticed, black people really not only just look out for their own, but they make sure to grow and keep their own, keep going. And that's one thing I fell in love with from a very young age was Muhammad Ali. Now, when Muhammad Ali passed away, I always thought, what's the equivalent in the UK to our Muhammad Ali? Who is it? And I realized today it's Stormzy. So Stormzy is a, a rapper from the UK who went viral from this video where he's basically just telling someone shut up. Um, but I noticed one thing when he became famous, he didn't just like become rich and famous and just brag about it. He actually he built a production company. He built a book publishing thing, which he's helping and pushing for uh, people of color to like get their books published. He also funded so many black students to go to Oxford University. And he's still doing so much more. And also his performance at Glastonbury where he wore the stab vest and he like called out the government, especially his line where he said, how would you like if we burnt your house down? Referring to the Grenfell fire where loads of innocent people died because the house got burned down and the government neglected it. And the reason why I'm making this video is I, I would like to appreciate and just let the black community know that you guys have done so much for me because there's no one from my community we don't have like a malcolm x in our community we don't have anything similar to like muhammad ali we do, we imran khan is probably the closest but like it's because of black people i am where i am black a uh, black women taught me how to look after my hair and like taught me how to maintain my curls it was black men like malcolm x martin luther king jr Muhammad Ali that taught me how to be courageous, how to love. It was Muhammad Ali, a black Muslim reaver that taught me to fall in love with my religion and my name. So I owe the black community so much. So while, while I'm here and I know everyone gives me credit saying, oh, you did great. This isn't me. Even the way I speak, everything. It's all from the black community. And my great friend, Jordan, just... I know what black love is and God, it's beautiful. So I would like to say thank you to the black community. I would like to say thank you to Stormzy. I would like to say thank you to Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., Sat Shakur. Just the list goes on. I just want to say the way that black women, black creators have helped me embrace my skin color is 
just not talked about enough. I mean, just the impact that black beauty creators have had on brown girls, teaching us how to do makeup for skin tones that's not white, teaching us about hyperpigmentation. I grew up on Jackie Ina, and before I started watching her, before I found her, I tried so hard to find makeup tutorials for someone with my skin tone. I'm a lot lighter now, but when I was younger, I was darker because I was I don't know, you're always like darker when you're a child, I think, because you're going outside more. I tried so hard to find like Indian skin tone, makeup, videos, tutorials on YouTube, and it was just impossible. There was no brown girl that I could find that was doing makeup tutorials for our skin tone. And if I did find someone doing makeup, it was like an Indian makeup artist doing someone's bridal makeup, they were painting her white. But once I found black creators, brown skin black creators, I learned so much more than just makeup and color theory. I definitely had some of that stuff in the back of my head. I was taking in a little bit of information. But the main thing I learned from watching black creators do their makeup so artfully, having similar skin tone to mine and even darker, is that brown skin is beautiful especially because i am an immigrant and for the first few years of my life i did go to an indian school in the middle east colorism was such a huge problem every single day i was reminded that i am dark and ugly i mean it was just such a terrible message to send to young girls also in the middle east we had access to indian television and the commercials that would come on sony tv was like fair and lovely and all that shit like i was exposed to all of that i just grew up to like know that okay brown, dark, like tan skin, it's just bad, you know? This sh it doesn't look good, people just don't like it. I just wanted to take a moment to like talk about this because it's insane like the impact that black women have had on me personally, on my self-love journey. And I'm so grateful and so thankful for that. So brown girls, whoever else is watching this, did you guys have any favorite black creators, black beauty creators, beauty gurus back in the day, like on YouTube? Let me know. Here's how I started getting comfortable with my dark skin. Like every other dark skin girl, I too used to hate my skin color. I just used to feel very uncomfortable with it until I met Sean. So to those of you who don't know, Sean Romy is this really beautiful model. So when I was about 16 years old, I dropped her a DM and asked if we could collaborate on a shoot. And when I met her for the first time, I was shocked at how someone could look so beautiful. She had this rich, dusky skin tone. And the first thing I told my mom was, did you see her skin color? So beautiful. And my mom's response to that was, what are you talking about? You're literally the same skin color. And holy sh that actually changed everything. Because up until then, I never saw my skin as pretty. I just had a very negative attitude towards it. But then I saw the way that she carried herself and it was like a switch in my mind at that point. From then on, I made it a point to stop talking negatively about my skin. If you don't hear a light skinned person making fun of themselves, you don't need to do the same. Now this was about eight years ago. And since then, I started traveling a lot and every single time I traveled, I swear to you, I would get complimented by strangers on the street for my skin color, something that would have never ever happened in India. I no longer shy away from wearing bright colors. In fact, white is one of my favorite colors to wear. I just think it looks so beautiful on my skin. And the biggest thing that I learned from this is that when you completely accept yourself and you're confident, you can also inspire people to accept themselves. I swear to you, dark skin is so beautiful. And it's so sad that we are taught to not embrace it or to shy away from colors when in reality, it is so beautiful. If you're a dark skin girl and you struggle with it, so many people would die for your skin color. I was on the other side of hating my skin color and now it's literally one of the favorite like seriously lovelies i could actually you know understand from their own perspective like you know there's something about black people entirely there's something about you know black community like black community is a kind of when they say that they want to actually get this they will do everything possible to actually get that and where they actually stand for you where they when they stand for you, there is no going back. They are kind they are kind of people that are so selfless. Like they don't think about themselves, especially black women. I see this a lot in black women, the way they come out in mass to support you without even getting to know whom you are, without even getting to know you. If they see that there is something like if you have this energy, like if you have this pure energy, like black would really do not have any problem they don't have any problem with whosoever the only problem that these people have that we have is we don't like to be treated wrong we don't like to be oppressed we don't like to be injured like treat us the way you treat other people 
do not discriminate us do not make us like do not make us i see we are just less of human and all of that when you do such thing the kind of energy they will return back to you is something that is overwhelming black people is actually not the problem i could remember during the affirmative action thing oh my goodness a lot of these asian americans they were thinking that you know they are having or they are having a fight with the black community without even knowing that black community are they are actually not the problems they went ahead to talk about affirmative action they wanted to be removed how you know some black student is actually taking away um you know the slots of you know asian student who happens to be intelligent like you know they they see us as people that is less intelligent less educated so because of asian um, affirmative action we have been admitted to these ivy schools that is meant for um you know asian students which they stem to be very educated and intelligent then fast forward to everything with all the controversies in asian affirmative action was removed this is when like after it was removed um that's what they call a post affirmative action that still did not allow um you know asian students to get admit admitted to those ivy schools then people that even got get admitted to these ivy schools the asian students reduced like the percentage at which they give admitted or that they admitted in this ivy school reduced drastically to compare to when affirmative actions was was there this is where these asian people realize that we are not even the problem we are not the problem they now realize that they have been used to you know to take away affirmative action that was even giving them a little room to get admitted to these ivy schools they thought they were going that trying to like maybe humiliate us or trying to like okay because you guys are this because of affirmative actions you're all in these ivy schools you are not deserving to be in these ivy schools but without them even realizing that black people are not the problem when would the world realize that black people are not the problem you know people of color should know that we are actually not the problem we are not the problem the only thing that we that we that we dislike is when we are being treated the way we are being treated you know sometimes a lot of people call you know black people oh my god they are so bitter they are so loud they are so angry like why wouldn't these people be all of this if you don't treat them well do you know that this other poc people of color yeah actually have a little more privilege compared to you know a black person seriously but when i saw this video i was like wow this coming from those people this th th that means that these guys are beginning to realize the truth they're beginning to know the truth you you wouldn't judge somebody all because of what you've been told by this person you have to get to meet this person before you'll be able to judge a lot of them have been misled by their whatever you know talking down or trash about people of my own type of skin especially in the asian community like there's a video i saw where they were asking or a black lady was asking asian people why is it that you don't you dislike black people a lot of them gave answers like it is all because of maybe what they have been told their parents been told them it's it's, uh, it's not happens so even generation yet and born they just told them that okay these people are dangerous don't get close to these people they are this they are that but this is the same people i could remember also when um, um is it hispanic people when a bill was passed and they were asking black people for help these people are the people that when you call on them and in a genuine way they are always there to answer you they are always there to to fight for you to use their voice even if it's not heard they will come out in in full force but during when they want help from these people we are always neglected our own cases are just oh my god let's shove it under the carpet nobody is always out for out there to help us we are the only ones solving our own problems but if it has to do with other people we are attempt to come out and fight their fight but during ours Oh my god, that nobody, nobody want to say anything about it.
I want to make emphasis on what is happening in Congo right now. I know a lot of people want to use an excuse that, oh my God, it has to do with the government and all of that. But seriously, okay, look at the mass at which people are talking about what is happening in Palestine. Compare it to what is actually happening in Congo. It is, it's been happening in Congo. It's been happening for years. But the media is not even taking it out because, okay, these people, they are too used to suffering. They are used to being humiliated. They are used to... to to hunger and starvation they're used to it their ancestors did it so this is just a a small thing to them but look at the mass people that, that that came out that spoke about what is happening in palestine and all of that i'm not disputing the father what is happening there is that i'm only saying that the same energy that was given there should be able to be given to these other people because all of us are human but no because it is none of anyone's business. They are going to sort, like, we are going to sort ourselves out. Look at it. Look at France today. France is still milking Africa, and no one is even saying anything about it. It's still milking Africa. Like, we are the good ones. We try to fight for everyone. We try to be nice to everyone. But what do we get in return? What do we get in return? That means if we can't do things by, by, by ourselves, then we are just <laughs> seriously that was the when i got to see this video it's i've made it made me feel some type of way like wow i don't even know that people can be this appreciated we are actually not a problem we are we are we, like when we move we move with force there's this thing that's seriously even in my comment section like <laughs> i personally some people like they, they leave comments on my section sometimes i read it i read the words you know some of them will just come for me like there was a lady that replied a message that was directing to me like a comment that was directing to me i know the person that actually you know sent me that comment was you know what i mean palm colored but this lady replied it and i was just oh my god this is how we are this is it we are our brother's keeper. This is it. And this is why, uh, why the world is so scared of us. This is why the world is very scared of us. Because they know that when we come together, it's going to be... <laughs> that is why they keep on trying to use any form of propaganda to keep making us... To, 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 to keep us apart from each other. There are so many things I have learned on the course of all these things i'm doing and which i'm so glad because a lot of lies have been told and i'm and my eyes are really opened and with all the comments i'm reading with all the knowledge i'm getting from this platform and i want to say thank you so much for all the love and support anyways lovelies let me just leave it here let me not just go to through emotion or whatever <laughs> Why not just, you know, leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And do not forget that this channel will not support any form of bullying, harassment or whatsoever. We're just here for educational purposes. So please share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you're here to do that. And I will see you lovelies when I upload the next Watch one. Watch up to this extent. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And do not forget that this channel, we do not support any form of bullying, harassment, or whatsoever. We are just here solely for educational and informative purposes, guys. Alright, please, just share this video. Leave your thought in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do that. And I will see you, lovelies, when I upload my next one.